Welcome guys to another episode of Marina. Today we're gonna be playing with some deck that I've recently seen has been popular in the clone game of Boom Arena and that's why we're gonna be playing it today. So basically it's gonna be a very simple missile cycle with bomb girls just to pressure my opponent. So far he has yet to react to my first bomb girl so I'm not gonna just add anything. Now he reacts with uh, shield skeletons and that's when I strike with another bomb girl because it will obviously force out some more response out of my opponent. He plays Rolling Stone that, I'm absolutely fine with that. With that being said, we are off to a very good start. Gonna just play Ice Time just to pressure a bit. There is nothing wrong with that play, although my uh, Swordsman won't connect for sure. That's the major opportunity for a missile. Unfortunately, uh, Mana Collector decks will be very weak against this deck because even though uh, you won't be always able to get a missile with the tower, if they are smart they're gonna be playing it in the middle. Uh, it's still fine because you can just play missile and you will cycle back to another missile uh, before them cycling to uh, to their next mana collector. So I'm gonna just play swordsman here to cut a dark knight, that's a very positive mana trait if you can get it. Also with a viking tower it's like no brainer. Uh, to do so, I'm gonna play Skeletons with this Swordsman, I don't think it's a bad idea. Well, I'm gonna just play another Bomb Girl, and my opponent will resign already. And I realistically don't see him to come back into this game, so I'm gonna just skip to the game number 2. Hope you guys enjoy this opening game. And the second opponent will be also having 0 Mels called Alpha Riz, so I presume some Generation Alpha Connoisseur. I'm gonna play Rolling Steel against Skeletons. I've explained it before in a Steel Bait video why is it a good move. He's gonna be playing a Gunner as well and I actually <laughs> was able to react uh, against it on time and he's gonna actually be very aggressive so I'm gonna just play Gunner here and basically try to start uh, generating some kind of attack. He's gonna be playing a flying bomb, which is absolutely fine by me because right now I can just play bomb girl, and that's basically gonna be okay. He actually reacted to this way better than I anticipated. I'm gonna just hover the skeletons just to drop them once my opponent drops a bomb girl. And my opponent will be having digger, which will be a bit inconvenient. There we go, I actually got the bomb girl, which is absolutely perfect. My opponent should be playing a digger, and I caught it with my swordsman as well. Very good stuff to see. I'm gonna actually play Ice Tiny just to force out some more response. And there we go, we're gonna be playing Bomb Girl at the bridge to get one hit. He's forced to play Cyclone and at this point in time, yeah, I'm gonna play Gunner first. I was thinking about playing a Missile, but I'm gonna just play a Gunner to block either bridge uh, for a potential uh, like gunner, uh, I mean bomber at the bridge. It's very important in this mirror matchup to just be wary of that. My opponent will miss a rolling steal, absolutely. That was that was a tragic move and right now he's gonna be forced to take a lot of damage <laughs> honestly on both sides and at this point I don't think we uh, fear uh, a oppos opposing size bomber so we're gonna just play a missile and that's basically gonna be a conclusion of the game because I don't think my opponent is fast enough with the counterplay. He's gonna actually try to predict something at the bridge with uh, his digger to counter his bomber, but that's not gonna be my gameplay. Right now I'm just playing missiles on his tower and uh, there's frankly nothing he can do about it. That's why this deck is very toxic and not very liked by uh, many people. Uh, I'm gonna catch another digger which is absolutely excellent and nice to see. I'm gonna play another bomb girl because I don't think he's gonna react to that. In okay, he actually gets the reaction, so I'm gonna just bite my words a bit. I'm gonna play a rolling seagull against this bomb girl. Unfortunately, I'm not gonna be able to catch the digger, but it's all fine since I'm gonna just be playing a missile. And yeah, at this point, my opponent pretty much cannot do anything. Uh, I'm gonna just play one more rolling still just for precaution. It's not gonna be enough to finish the tower, but the next missile will be. He also throws a good game, so 
Uh, I presume my opponent actually knew how to play the game and he just created an account. That's sometimes the case with zero mail accounts, but yeah, our deck was just way better. It prevailed absolutely uh, fantastically. And yeah, with that being said, we're gonna jump to the game number three of today's video. And we actually get another opponent with zero mails called Onar. We're gonna start very uh, simple with a bomb girl at the bridge. We're gonna get one hit, maybe even three hits. Yeah, there we go. That's gonna be actually a, a three hits. And we're gonna just counter my opponent's aggression on the opposite side. Go for some clean defense. I think this archer will get two hits. Yeah, there we go. It's still uh, not enough to bring him back <laughs> Uh, to the advantage, so we are absolutely bowling with that decision. We're gonna play Gunner here and then support with Ice Tiny just to create a bit of pressure, force him to play something, and there we go. We actually got uh, what we wanted. I think I'm gonna just suck this Archer hit, and he tries to predict our Bomb Girl with a Steel Hammer, so pretty much it was a very uh, nice play by him, but we're gonna be ahead of him and. Uh, now get a bomb girl. So basically, we're gonna get away with this uh, greedy play at the bridge because we're basically getting a damage for free. He commits a cannon, which is definitely a bad play since his stone phones would eliminate it anyway. I presume he was scared that I'm gonna still protect my gun, uh, bomb girl, but yeah, th there was no point at this point. I think, uh, yeah, I I'm not actually commit anything to that push, just let him to counter it and if he doesn't counter it that's gonna be actually a tower down so a very bad decision from my opponent then like absolutely atrocious bullets well it looks like my opponent doesn't like his position uh, he's not throwing any emotes though which is very cool to see because uh, most people playing this game would already throw the tantrum or something i'm gonna play bomb girl just to eliminate this the stone phones i'm gonna play swordsman just in case, and then I think I'm gonna just kite this steel hammer back just to eliminate it. Bomb girl will also help as well. Uh, I'm gonna play phone hut and basically give up this bomb girl. I don't think there's a point in protecting her, so I'm gonna just play another bomb girl that was very close call because he almost uh, caught uh, another bomb girl of mine. I'm gonna play actually a uh, rolling stone on that. Bomb girl will go on the opposite side, which is absolutely fine. I'm gonna just cycle to another bomb girl. Basically, you get where this deck is going. You pretty much uh, play the bomb girl at the bridge uh, if there's a possibility, uh, and that's how you get most of the damage. And if you're not able to like 100% break through, uh, the missile will do the trick most of the time, and that's basically the whole game plan. I'm gonna another. And add another bomb girl. I'm gonna play Rolling Steel here to eliminate everything that he owns uh, in life, and that's gonna be GG's nice play in the game number three. Let's jump to the game number four, shall we? And we're gonna be facing in another game a six star player, which means that uh, his name was inappropriate for this game and got blurred out by the admin of this game, who is, of course, Um Arena Left. He's gonna start with the Steel Hammer and I respond with Gunner. Though on the wrong side, so we're gonna have to be a little bit careful with this defense. I'm gonna actually play Phone Hunt. I think there's nothing wrong with this play. Just very uh, solid defensive uh, resource. I'm gonna play some Skeletons against his Bomberman and then Rolling Steel against his Stone Phone. So I presume my opponent will be running a default deck, which is absolutely fine. Also, my opponent completely ignored the Gunner, which is definitely not a correct play as even the slightest uh, reaction would be sufficient to uh, fully counter it and obviously you don't want to like take a unnecessary damage. I'm gonna play actually a phone hut to absorb these bomb blasters. I'm gonna play some skeletons to kite the bomb skeleton as well as uh, to uh, damage uh, archers, archer a bit. Uh, yeah, this archer will get a hit which is kinda unfortunate. I didn't need this Ice Tiny to defend this Bomberman, but I am not like 100% confident with my steel timing right now. Obviously, uh, I've showcased in my previous videos how to do it, so if you don't know, uh, you can obviously uh, counter a full Bomberman with just rolling still very useful and handy interaction. He actually predicts my Bomb Girl with a cannon in the middle, which is very cute interaction. I don't think it's like the 
game changing, but I definitely that was a nice play by him, that's why I dropped good game. I, mean, I meant to say nice play, but like, sometimes even I misclick the emotes, so uh, that's gonna be it. I'm gonna play uh, Rolling Steel right here, just to clean it up, uh, just like that. I'm gonna flat play another bomb girl at the bridge just to annoy my opponent and this bomb girl actually will get two shots which is absolutely fantastic i'm gonna play uh phone hut and then i will follow it up with swordsman just to preserve my uh phone hut very healthy as well as i'm gonna uh just counter the whole bomb skeleton so my opponent will be actually very aggressive with bullets i have to unfortunately respect that i'm gonna play bomb girl uh, at the bridge once again, uh, very annoying play, my opponent definitely should be like uh, way more on point with the predictions as in this game I didn't try to uh, hide anything, I, if I had the opportunity of playing Bomb Girl at the bridge I did it, so uh, uh, it should be very obvious for her, there we go, Th there's a, a prediction, once again I dropped good game uh, instead of nice play but like it's not that harmful. He's gonna drop a bomb skeleton, which in my opinion is a good play. I'm gonna drop skeleton just to protect my gunner. Maybe eliminate this bomb skeleton and the archers. He actually drops the uh, can, which uh, at this point in the game is a wrong play because even though he blocks uh, my bomb girl, he should be like mm, going for the troops since he's behind in damage. And if you're behind in damage, you want to make a game complicated and by playing buildings and spells you don't game uh, complicated, you basically uh, are making it simpler and uh, if anyone wants this game to look simpler, it's gonna be me just playing uh, missiles on his uh, viking tower as there's uh, no, uh, no better plan uh, to apply. So yeah, I'm gonna throw another missile on his viking, I mean on his normal tower, he's gonna play bomberman which is cute way of stopping uh, my bomb girl and I'm gonna just play bomb girl for a good matter. he actually blocks it with can. Uh, he also is not uh, satisfied uh, by the way I uh, took the win in this game but the win is a win and I'm not gonna complain yeah my opponent is really mad and uh, rightfully so it wasn't it wasn't his matchup, definitely, he should be switching to another deck, and yeah, let's just jump to the game number 5 and wrap this video up. And our final opponent of this game will be Nusikun, who has 50 medals, which means that, I, probably it means that he has won 5 games in this game already. Uh, my opponent will be very aggro with his play. Which means I have to kind of respect it. This phone king will destroy a phone hut, but I don't really care. I'm gonna block this piercing archer with ice tiny. It was kind of failed, but yeah, because the piercing archer gets one last hit. I thought the piercing archer will actually uh, uh, one shot the swordsman instead of two shot it, but uh, it doesn't really matter in the grand scheme of things. Right now, I think that's gonna be a tough call because my opponent will be getting another ape from this necromancer and uh, I would love to actually get rid of this. So, and then he protects his phone hut for a uh, reason I cannot explain. Actually, I think it was just a waste of 3 mana. Sometimes it just happens. My opponent actually wasting a lot of mana uh, for no apparent reason. I'm gonna play Ice Tiny just to stop the uh, everything from coming down. He's gonna play a necromancer at the bridge as well, which is definitely not a good play and now finally that he has run out of mana i can play a bomb girl at the bridge and basically claim the win because uh, he cannot uh, defeat it for a positive mana trade i'm gonna play just gunner and skeletons because my opponent is not respecting to my play so i might as well just go for the uh, winning move take his tower and then follow up by taking his viking tower and with that being said, my opponent's still not reacting to my play, so I think he just resigned, but there we go, his nick disappeared, so that's gonna be the end for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed, if you did, make sure to like the video, leave a comment, maybe with some compliment, I don't know, maybe, and uh, 
If you want to see more Boom Arena gameplay, definitely subscribe to my YouTube channel because I post it every single day and you definitely don't want to miss out on this uh, high tier strategy content. Uh, so yeah, thanks for watching till the end. Make sure to subscribe and I'm gonna see you guys in the next episode of Boom Arena.